This is how to play You Shut Me All Night Long. We're doing all the rhythm sections in this video. The solo is here already. It's already up on YouTube. Not on an SG, unfortunately, but I think that'll do you just fine. Um, let's start off with the main riff, which is a very beginner-friendly riff. We start off with the G, um, an open G power chord. So this is like a standard G major, but we're not going to play the first finger. The first finger is not even down, and then the middle finger is just going to hit the underside of string five, to uh, absolutely take it out, to mute it. And then we strum all six strings, and that gives us uh, a G power chord. This is a power chord because we've not got uh, the major third in there, or a minor third, it's just the first and the fifth split all between those strings. Then we move that middle finger down a string, and by employing that same technique of having that middle finger lower, so it's touching string four this time, we're, we're therefore playing a C chord, but it sounds heavier. It's the ACDC style C chord that's used in the song. And we also probably want to keep the thumb over the top on the C and the D chord, which is coming up in a second, so that we get this uh, result. Let me play it for you slowly. Nice and slow one last time, and then we'll break it down again. For the D, I'm just playing a D major chord but without the middle finger even down and making sure that for the D I don't play string one and we can do that by having the third finger muting it just here. But really try and keep on the D chord and toward the middle four strings, that's what we're hitting. Down, boy, she's screaming at me today, down. Um, so for this part, we're going to be looking at the order of those chords, just to make sure it's really there so you don't have to be looking at tab or anything. Try and memorize the order of this and go, go for the sound of it. Try and emulate the sound that you're getting. Remember which chord sounds low, sounds high. We start off with the G, which is the lowest sound, the lowest chord that we've got here. C, C, G, C, G, D. That was G. G, C, C, G, C, G, D. After that, it's just between the G and D. One last time. Then, G, G, D, G, D. Very similar rhythm. That second half was G, G, D, G, D, G. C, C, G, C, G, D, G, G, D, G, D. Look how I'm not even moving that third finger ever, so that can stay still. Most of the movement is done, you know, by the, the middle finger, really, moving kind of out of the way. It sort of goes low, even though I go for the D shape and it, it could stay up. I'm sort of getting ready to play a D chord. That's what my fingers are doing. Anyway, I digress. That is our main riff when we get to the end of that riff and we're coming into the chorus. We let that D chord ring out. We do play that thinnest string. We go for the D sus4, that's chord. And then we go for the chorus. And the chords to the chorus mimic the rhythm of the vocal line, which is you should me all night long okay so that was U root note of a G strum let me talk you through this really basically open two three two open A hit the D and then the same again yeah, you should be all night long. Those are a 
another bit to this which we'll do with the picking hand, but make sure you've got that first. Building it up from the back, just like a Bob Ross painting. <laughs> Part, you're going to need an Andy guitar pick. That's what you're going to need for this next bit. You won't at all, but that's just a shameless plug for my picks that are available from my website. The next part is a picking part though, and we're going to go for... So after the third fret and the second fret, we always pick the third and second string. And then we go back to the riff and to the chorus again. Then we're on to the solo time, which again we've got already done. All that kind of thing. Um, and then we're, we're pretty much to the end. It's just chorus till the end. You should be all alone until. Oh, hang on. Oh, Just a mute at the end there. All those little sections, how long he stays on each chord for when you're between sections, that is learnt by jamming along to the recording. If you need to, you can totally use YouTube's slow down feature. So when you're jamming along to the recording just, just on YouTube, um, you know, from the album track or anything, use that feature to slow it down to 0 0.75, which is in the settings, which is about there. And, um, that practice of jamming along to the recording, even if it's you know not not quite there yet, that's how you can learn the structure and the little detail. Learn learn by jamming along, listening to the recording as you're jamming along, and uh, comparing, and that's how you'll improve with this one. That's how to play. You shook me all night long. Thank you so much for your support and for watching until the end. Let me know your song requests in the comments below, and I will see you in another video.